Hi, sweet ones. How are y'all doing? It's a beautiful day. It's a very beautiful day. Sweet ones, about 45 minutes ago, we had a heavy wave of dense, dense energy coming in. This energy is bringing up... I started feeling it early this morning. This energy is bringing up a lot of... Of guilt um, a lot of guilt for being happy hi beautiful hi beautiful Miguel how you doing sweetheart hi Ellen how you doing beautiful this energy is bringing up a lot of guilt guilt from your relationships guilt in your past relationships um, guilt for for choosing to live your life for who you are to be who you are guilt um, for myself, I had to deal with a lot of guilt this morning that I was feeling um, about um, moving on and, and really embracing who I am um, and being happy and, and dealing with, you know, the people I care about, um, you know, feeling guilt, guilty that I, that I can't help them become more happier that they have their own free will choice and and so I've been dealing with that a lot a lot today um purging it individually for the collective for myself and of course planetary right now Ga Gaia is releasing a lot of energies I've been I, I have been saying that um, many others have, have been saying that and this energy this past hour this heavy dense wave that is coming in is ground sweetheart good morning bright ground um drink some water i encourage you to drink some water get out in nature um it passed for me um like i in about an hour um it, that's what it's taken to to really hit me this past hour um as you can see i'm outside i'm grounding um and it's it's past me now Darren, um, who's inside, I'm sure there's many of you who know who he is. He's a really good friend of mine. His name is Darren Graffin. He, too, is feeling it. He he started feeling it about 20 minutes ago. Um, so know, sweethearts, that if you're starting to feel out of, all of a sudden off kilter, if you are um, feeling really angry right now out of the blue, um, or it, it, it may hit some of you later on tonight. It may hit you tomorrow. It's really helpful to understand that um, on the 26th, we go into a super new moon. That's right, Miguel, it will. Um, many of you will start feeling these energies from this super new moon. It's, a, it's the first super new moon of a trifecta or a trinity, if you will, of April, May, and June. Um, and with anything that amplifies it, again, stay in the present moment. All of these, these planetary alignments, these retrogrades, all of these energies. It don't matter if it happens last week, last month, in a week from now, two days from now. You're feeling it every moment. These energies are not going away. They're increasing. They're getting more intense. Sweet ones, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat what I have said in, in the past, that. You all have been fitted with a straight jacket, and that straight jacket, those strings have been tightened as tight as they could, so another one has been put on, if you will, liken it to that. Um, and these energies will continue to increase, continue to pull those strings, if you will, of this straight jacket until everything that is not the purity of love is squeezed out of you and returned to love. So know that... That a lot of this is planetary. A lot of this is is collective. Collectively, many of you um, have term used the the coined phrase. Um, collectively, we're going through a dark night of the soul. Yes, I know. As with anything, as long as you look at it in se as separation and in in duality and in polarity, that is keeping that matrix present. So I am encouraging you each to to release that. Um, stay. I encourage you to stay in your hearts, to 
um, for some it helps to start chanting I love you when you start feeling these these heavy energies and really comforting that inner child nurturing that inner child and and that inner child is Gaia um, and again Gaia is releasing the 3d matrix has been reset you guys have been disconnected from it and everything is 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 purging good evening Adela how you doing beautiful so for those of you who who are feeling this heavy wave of dense energy that's that's coming in love whatever arises release it in love do not emotionally attach to it and know that it is just energy asking to be released this is an incredible credible day if you will um deep I, I have not heard what what the outcome of the election in France is, but France was the only thing we were waiting on for the un public if, announcement of the of the reval. Um, so, stay in your hearts. God is with us, sweethearts, in every breath we take, and everything is being gracefully done you will all discover that the apocalypse spiritual apocalypse ending of the world or whatever as each of your religious texts have stated to you has been averted world war three will not happen and this transition has been done although slow it is happening and it is here and it is now and regardless of what the physical presents, sweetheart, stay in your hearts, please. Remain in peace. Remain in calm. And allow yourself to ground. The more you can ground these energies into the earth, if you will. Go out, ground, earth, you know, hug a tree. The more, and the more citrus water you can take, um, drink, rather, um, Alkaline ve vegetables, dark, which are dark, your dark greens, um, your your superfoods, your fruits, root vegetables, anything natural that will also help with this. Um, and again, sweethearts, it's just energy. Release it in love. Love whatever arises. It is a time, even though the physical world is not presenting it as such, it is a great time of celebration. The cabal has, has been defeated, period. And regardless if you guys are seeing it in the physical, it is done. It is over. It is complete. The matrix has been reset. You are anchoring into the fifth dimensional grid. And... Anything that is not love has to be released, sweet ones. Anything that is of duality, separation, polarity, it has to be released. Let it go. Um, I love you, Miguel. Gratitude to each of you, Adela. I, I am humbled by all of you. Uh, I am. I am extremely grateful for all of all of the inner work and outer work each of you have done. Gaia is Gaia's golden, guys. She's golden. And and right now, on an individual level for each of you, there is a lot of heartbreak going on right now through these heavy dense energies, and that's okay. Remember, sweethearts, it is energy, and you have to allow anything mm -hmm. of the past, that anything of your past lives, any memories, anything of the 3D grid, you have to allow yourselves to release it and let it go. Because anything of the 3D grid cannot go into the fifth dimensional harmonic frequency that Earth is moving into. For many of you, you will discover that time has gone by very, very quickly. Um, and at the same time, time has completely slowed down. Again, we are right. The planet, Guy, is Guy's rising. 
physically she's rising you know she's already done this ethically back in 2000 December of 2012 and so Flo and this hi Lizette how you doing beautiful hi Louisa I love you all and I am holding you in eternal peace grace much much grace love calm bliss ecstasy and again you are vessels helping to release at this moment in time all the energies that Gaia is bringing up and out of the planet as she transitions as she rises higher we are going into a new solar cycle um, solar cycle 25 it will happen between the summer and winter solstice um, Again, that five and two, that seven, hidden power of seven, sweet ones, and yin and yang. And and if you take a five and you take a two and you turn one up, you know, and you link them together at, at, at their little curves, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Much change is in the air, sweet ones, and in... This is going to be with the announcement of the new republic, with the announcement of the new government, with the announcement of, of the refal. You will find that with as much truth that is being exposed and will be exposed, the chaos, the turbulence, the fear, the shock that comes with that will also be neutralized and balanced to a great extent with the... The announcement of the Republic, the New Republic, and the Reval. Again, I encourage each of you to remain in your hearts, remain in peace. Divine love has no judgment, it has no opinion, it has no reaction, sweethearts. And as we go into full force into this transition, which you will each see. I would say probably by beginning of the month, if you will. Um, a lot is it's a lot is going to come into play, and a lot of changes is coming with that. I love you. I say that from the depths of my spirit into the heights of my spirit. This is a glorious, glorious time, even if it does not seemingly appear to be in the physical sweethearts. Focus within and love whatever arises. Love everybody in your presence regardless of, of what they are projecting or not projecting out. And really try to keep yourselves in a very neutral, neutral point. Are you okay, Linda? It looks like you're going to cry. Honey, I just got done crying. Again, I said about an hour ago, a very heavy, dense energy came through me. It actually started for myself early this morning. Um, it really hit me. Actually, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes ago now. Um, I'm able to to keep myself, for the most part, centered. This did knock me off kilter a little bit, um, which is quite unusual for me. Um Usually I keep myself in a very neutral, neutral space, um, but I did get, so yes, Daniel, I, I am absolutely perfect, sweetheart. It may not look like that, but again, I get hit with it hard and, you know, it trickles. And so really stay centered, guys. Stay in your hearts. Love whatever arises and, and allow these emotions to release. Do not attach to them. Do not attach emotion to them, thought to them. Observe them when they arise. Identify it if, if it's something that you need, personally need to clear or if it is just really planetary. Right now, for myself, it's mostly planetary. Um, this morning, I, I had... You know, I had a lot of guilt about my past relationships um, because I truly am in a, in a space of blissful, peaceful ecstasy almost every moment. Um, but again, we're in this together, hand in hand, side by side. 
There is nobody above, nobody below, nobody, you know, we're all in this together. We are a team, we are a unity, and, and what affects one affects all. Now some it's instant effect, others it takes a little while depending on their frequencies and where they're at. However, we are all in this together. And so I, I really encourage you, um, as many of you know, I hold the planetary consciousness of Gaia and and, it, and, and she's releasing, sweethearts. She, she is releasing from the planet all the energies that no longer serve her. Um, and so let them flow out of her through you. That is exactly what is happening, you know, and and the more you can ground these incoming intense light energies into her, the more graceful, gentle, and easier it will be for all. So, again, I ask and I encourage you, please stay in your hearts. Do not react. Do not engage in polarity duality and separation at this point do mm -hmm. not let that pendulum swing let me turn you around this way so you can see uh, keep that pendulum as much as you can right there centered in neutrality it's this pendulum of you experience the extremes of bliss to the extremes of agony that we are Getting back to this point, that's where I ask you to truly maintain your frequencies at. Do not get too positive. Do not get too negative. Stay as much as neutral as you can as this transition continues and as, as you each fully continue to.